This is Atieno. The older woman at her side is her granny Dahlia. Atieno will soon give birth at a clinic not so far from her house. It's a public facility and she doesn't need to pay for fees. Since the independence of Kenya from England two years before, the government launched a series of health reforms aimed at providing universal access to quality services. This is Naima, the first child of Atieno. She's a healthy child. They were both well taken care of at the clinic. Atieno's concern with the child is when she arrives home as they have no water or basic sanitation. Atieno is a single mother who works with community health care at another public clinic. Her granny provides household support because her mother died of cholera some years before. Naima lives in the house of her mother Atieno with her, her boyfriend and their two-year-old little son. Naima is preparing to have her second child at home. <coughs> Nowadays, to give birth at a public hospital, Naima would have to pay for gloves, surgical blades, disinfectants and syringes because the state doesn't provide them anymore. Because of pressures of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund to implement structural adjustment programs, the government made huge cuts, especially in the health sector, which had a negative effect on the quality of public services and resulted in the loss of many jobs. Her mother, Atieno, lost her job at the public clinic where she worked. <coughs> She's not the same anymore. Her boyfriend is not working now because he hopes to be the first to graduate in his family. Their only source of income comes from Naima. She sells vegetables at the market. Khadija is born, but she is malnourished. Naima is afraid she won't survive. Khadija is preparing to give birth. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken hold and the health system is even more overstretched. She is unemployed due to the crisis. Khadija lost her first child when she was giving birth at the same clinic where her granny Atieno did. Now the public clinics have started to provide free services for children under five and pregnant women, but the conditions remain very precarious. Hey, mom, Sasa. For this reason, she and her husband decided to try and save money to cover the costs of giving birth at a private hospital. Her husband works with her brother from early in the morning until late at night at the market. The government developed a public-private partnership agreement with international private companies with the aim of improving the quality of health service in Kenya. Through the Managed Equipment Services program, for example, they spent huge amounts of money to buy medical equipment for hospitals, but the contracts were not very transparent. These international companies brought some very sophisticated technology to the country but these specialized machines don't solve the basic problems of not having clean water, of having malaria and cholera. Also, there aren't enough qualified professionals to handle the equipment, and in several places these machines can't be used because there's no running water or electricity. Now they say only the private healthcare system works, so they privatize more and more every day. But most people can't afford the fees. It's so expensive. Gamela is born. What future awaits her? Yeah.